It was a somber mood last Thursday, June 11, in St. Anne, as scores of residents and dignitaries turned up at the St. Anne's Bay Anglican Church Hall to pay their respects to the late Labour and Social Security Minister Shahini Robinson. Minister Robinson, who passed away on May 29, 2020, has been described as a dedicated member of Parliament and Cabinet Minister. It is a great loss to the government of Jamaica, a great loss to the country, a great loss to the constituency. And for me personally, she was my friend and my sister, my little sister. And so it's very painful this morning to be here to say goodbye. We know representation in excellence when we see it. And we're truly going to be missing our sister Shahini. She embraced all of us and she kept all of us together to be very proud of our parish. She understood the mantra and the culture of the parish. And I know she flew our flags so high, locally, nationally and internationally. She has been a political icon in this area and she has taken the level of representation to a level that uh, it's, it's just been uh, unprecedented, uh, so much so that she has won six elections and she has never s smelt or tasted defeat. Uh, the fact is that she has, she has touched me in so many ways and she has been an inspiration to me and, um, and a political mentor. Uh, being a uh, minister. My experience working with Mrs. Robinson is one of mentorship, guidance, love, and growth. I, in, in many ways, my part, my political part, was molded and guided by her. I am, um, to say that I'm mourning is just a word that has been repeated by many persons, but I am still going to express how deeply saddened and hurt I am um, to lose my member of parliament. She will be missed. Mrs. Robinson has always made it her, her mandatory point of duty to ensure that she's at all our functions. She offers support to our teams of education officers um, in relation to her schools that she supports in her constituency. Mrs. Robinson has contributed to the establishment of institutions, the upgrade of institutions. Those in the Northeastern St. Anne constituency that Mrs. Robinson served for almost 20 years says she is irreplaceable. That Friday morning when I heard that Miss Rob has passed away, at the time I was at work and it really broke me down you know, I have to leave work before time. Even though I knew she was that ill, you understand? And then the death news wasn't surprising to me, but they have a saying that from there's life, there's hope. So I was still praying and hoping for the best. It is very necessary for me to be here because to show my um, respect to our beloved member of parliament, not only member of parliament, but um, she was a minister of labor and um, she was a very um, hard working and very dedicated woman. Um, you know, she worked tirelessly. Um, she's so fun. She's always there for you. She knows everybody by, by name. She knows everybody house. Um, so um, Miss Miss um, Rob was such an um, amazing individual, and we will always love her. Miss Rob was a very very good MP to us. She was a people person. You would never see Miss Rob vex. She just know how to deal with us. Funerals, wedding, anniversary, everything. She would be there. She, she was beautiful from the outside to the inside. The mood on the second day of the viewing was no different from the day before, as many also came out to the St. John's Anglican Church Hall in the parish to pay their respects to the late minister. This morning reminds me of just about a year ago when Shahini and I met in this very room as we paid our final respects to Mr. Seattle. And it just 
enforces just how short life is. The Bible says we sprout up and in the twinkling of an eye we are cut away and we are no more. It is truly a sad moment for us because in, she has gone far too soon. We're going to miss her, miss her presence in cabinet, miss her presence in parliament, just miss the easy way with which she talks with you, you know? Um, that, that kind of a person, you always felt at ease in her presence. You didn't have to wonder um, if, you know, when you approach her, what her demeanor would be. It was always the same, always welcoming. From the recruiting and the involvement of Shahini, I knew she had the ability to be a marvelous representative and to be a humanitarian in every aspect of the work that she did. And I have the highest respect for the work that she did. I am happy I shared part of that with her. When I drive on the concrete road coming through Fern Gully, we worked hard to ensure that that was put in place. We worked hard to ensure that the town would never be flooded again. Now I hope it's flooded with tears of joy for someone that was really brilliant in representational politics. Shy Shy was my name for her. And I felt her eye one evening. She came to my house and gave me a long tracing, slammed my door, walked out, and then within 30 seconds she opened the door to let me know that although she cussed me, I can stop her from coming here. She was like that. You couldn't be upset with Shy Shy. I remember the last time I saw her because I told her, like my mother, I would not see her on her deathbed. So we spoke on the phone. I remember her coming into cabinet in that blue dress. And she asked me, you like it? And she paraded around in her blue dress. It was about three weeks before her passing. I refused to go and she knew, but we spoke on the phone. So Shy Shy, we love you. We will never forget you. The next scheduled public viewing will be on Tuesday, June 16 at the Jamaica Labour Party headquarters on Belmont Road in Kingston. All are invited between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. However, you are urged to practice social distancing and proper sanitization practices. Also, remember to wear your masks.